uniquely qualified to make sure that this uniquely unqualified person does not become president. And all you've got to do is make sure that you go out there and you vote. And the, the other good news is you don't just have to vote against this guy because you have a candidate who's actually worthy of your vote. Somebody who's smart. Somebody who is steady. Somebody who is tested. Perhaps the most qualified person ever to run for this office, our next president, Hillary Clinton. This is somebody who has dedicated her life to making this country better. Think about how she got her start. While Donald Trump and his developer dad were being sued by the Justice Department for denying housing to African American families. Hillary was going undercover from school to school to make sure minority kids were getting an equal shot at a good education. She has not stopped fighting for justice, fighting for equality ever since. Her heart's always been in the right place, works hard every single day. I know she worked hard when she was running against me. I was worn out. She worked hard when she was working for me. She was there in the Situation Room as my Secretary of State, making the argument to go after Bin Laden even when it was risky. Circled the globe as Secretary of State, earned the respect of world leaders. Her efforts weren't always flashy, they weren't always fully appreciated, which is true for a lot of the work that women do, by the way. Just want to make that observation. She made me a better president. She understands policy. She understands how the world works. She understands that this stuff that we do, the challenges we face, aren't abstract. They mean something to real people. She knows that she's got to work hard because you are out there working hard. And by the way, she doesn't whine or complain or blame others or suggest everything's rigged when things aren't going her way. She just works harder. She just comes back better. Because she knows no matter how hard things may be for her, there are a lot of people who are having an even tougher time trying to pay the bills or trying to find a job or trying to finance a college education. So she doesn't have time to whine. She just gets up and does the work. And she knows the decisions you make as president. Wow. Uh, Amanda Walker is in Jacksonville in Florida for us. Um, hello to you. Um, Donald Trump uh, will be speaking there later on. We've been listening to what President Obama's had to say. That was a tub-thumping speech, was it? Wasn't it just more emphatic, very powerful, uh, really, I suppose, for those supporters in the room there, convincing reasons to vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't think that speech would go down as well in this room. But really, there's a lot in this now for President Obama.